Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Speed with Mahesh. Today we'll see a concept where a DAG, Directed Acyclic Graph, which is deployed in a cloud composer, how it can invoke a Kubernetes engine, meaning it can create a Kubernetes cluster or it can create basically a pod, anything of that sort. So how does it going to in, uh, invoke it? That's going to be using an operator called as GKE operator. So um, a composer, a DAG in a composer trying to invoke a Kubernetes using this uh, operator. So that is what we are going to see it. And since today being 10th of August, if you are basically a Taliver fan, so definitely you would have seen the movie uh, Jailer has been released. So Jailer released. So and if you are the 90s kid, right, definitely when you are looking at this movie, you will see a... Uh, uh, effect of Basha, so which was in the 90s time period, which was released, which was a blockbuster. So I thought I'll just make a small analogy so you can relate uh, Jailer with Composer, that to Composer 2, which is autopilot mode. And you can relate Basha movie with uh, Kubernetes. So let's read that analogy and try to see how this works. Because uh, when we give this kind of an analogy, learning becomes little easy and it's going to be little fun. So let's see this in action. Let's get into the demonstration. Okay, so this is a document which I'm going to use. So I'll put it in the description also. You can look into it. So this line is the most important thing. So Google Kubernetes engine operator uh, runs Kubernetes pods in a specific cluster. The beauty here of this operator is it can run in any environment. So which can be a separate cluster that is not uh, related to your environment. So composer could be in project A. You can create a Kubernetes cluster or interact with a Kubernetes cluster in project B. That is the beauty. There's also one more operator, operator called as Kubernetes pod operator which only runs in the same environment. So that is another thing. So this is a small cool feature. So let's look into it, how it works. And the implementation of this, if you were to look into it, it's going to be something like this. The project, uh, so I have called two projects. One is Jailer, one is Basha. So in the Jailer project, you are going to have Cloud Composer, primarily Composer 2, which is going to be based on autopilot mode, the latest and the greatest of that, something similar to Jailer. So this is going to be also a private cloud composer instance so because it's private it has to reach out to the outside world so i have created a cloud NAT. so even though you are a data engineering knowing little bit of networking is going to be important in this kind of a situation so that is going to reach out to basically a kubernetes cluster which is going to be a private kubernetes cluster with a public endpoint so what is that let me show you that during the demonstration piece and we should be able to provision a resource so let's get into that part so i have project called as jailer so where i have created a cloud composer instance and just for your information if when you are trying to create cloud composer that too in a free trial account it can take a little longer time so little patience is very important is what i would say so i have already created it just to save some time so it literally took me uh you can see this part uh so it took me almost like close to two hours kind of a stuff. Uh, uh, sorry, not two hours, my bad. Uh, one, one and a half hours, it, close to one hour it took. So it usually takes at least one hour is what I felt basically. So since it's already created, let's look into the details of this. One important detail about this uh, thing is I'm using a service account, which is the Compute Engine default service account. And if you look into it, it has a role which is editor so standard one nothing which have made it complicated here so that's one thing and for people who want to know whether this is really cloud composer 2 uh, so you can see this one and it is using airflow version 2.5 uh, another way to find it out is cloud com if you go to kubernetes it will show you it is a autopilot mode. So Composer 2 is going to be always based on autopilot mode. So this is what you see it. So now let's come to the other project, which is uh, basically the uh, project 2, which is which I have called it as Basha. So here I have named the cluster also as private cluster with a public endpoint. So what does that mean is, uh, private cluster if you see this so it's going to it's a standard kubernetes cluster so all its uh, worker node will have a 
only private IP address. It will not have an external IP address. So that is what the private cluster means. And what does that public endpoint means? So if it's a public endpoint, it is going to have an external IP address. This is the control planes where it could be accessed and internal also. So both are going to be there. If it's a private Kubernetes cluster with private endpoint, this piece will not be there. So as simple as that. So and to connect to this external IP only, that NAT is going to be helpful because the Cloud Composer which we have is a private one. So I should have highlighted it. Let me just show you that part. So environment configuration. Uh, you see this private environment enabled. So hope this architecture is clear. So maybe I can show real quick the NAT. NAT is provisioned in the same region where the Airflow is provisioned. Air, oh sorry, Cloud Composer is provisioned. Cloud Composer is provisioned in US Central. So hope this architecture now makes sense. So I have a DAG. Let me show the DAG. So I have a DAG, so which is taken from the documentation itself. So uh, the the name we love the liver. So that's the thing. I have a tag superstar and the task ID is jailer. So the name of the pod is going to be hukum. Um, then I have a I'm going to use Perl image where I'm going to generate a pi value. So if you are a hardcore fan of Taliver, you would have seen in Robo movie where um, Chitty generates a pi value, right? Something very similar is what we are trying to do a pi value here. Uh, so but it's going to print a uh, jailer collection will be 10 because it's uh, 10th of August. 169th movie uh, and Taliver's age is 72. So multiply this, that's going to be the collection. So let's see what is going to be the output of this. So for people who have not worked on Cloud Composer, the way you get that Python code is go to this open DAC folder. It's going to open a Google Cloud storage bucket. Just upload it. Uh, it's going to be as simple as that. So I have a file already called as jailer to basha So that's what I have. It's the same code. So the moment you upload it, in few minutes, if you open this Airflow UI, which I've already opened it, it's going to show you like this. So it's going to show you something like this. Let me just refresh it. It's going to show you something like this and you just need to go and um, call that uh, or um, trigger this manually something like this. So let's before I go and trigger it, uh, let me make sure this is the cluster and we don't have any workload. So there is already a couple of work uh, parts which has been running or successfully ran. I'm going to delete that. So this is in Basha project where we have this private Kubernetes cluster with public, uh, public endpoint and there's no workloads currently there. Okay, so that's the situation. Let's go ahead and invoke it. The moment I invoke it, I'll go to the other project, the Basha project and I'll see uh, the stuff. Okay, it is getting invo invoked. Let me come here, refresh it and I should see the, it was so quick because uh, uh, it's a very simple print statement, right? It did it so quickly. So maybe one more time if you want to see it. Uh, so let me just refresh this piece. Even though auto refresh is there, it's not really complete. Yeah, three times it has done. So let me just do real quick, involved it. So let me see it here. You should see a pod running. Let's wait for it. Yes, it is creating. Now you will be able to see that part. Creating, then it's going to go into a running. Okay, running and completed. So, hukum is the uh, name of the pod. And um, if you go into the details of it, where the log, because it's a print statement. So, it's going to print the information. So and let's see what is going to be the collection. So jailer collection is going to be something like uh, this is the code which I have written basically. So 5390 crores. So it's basically a pi value into Taliver's age and the, the um, 10th of uh, August and uh, basically uh, what 169 which is the uh, number the movie number. So that's the stuff. So hope you got an idea about how you can uh, invoke a uh, 
a Kubernetes uh, related operation from a DAG using Kubernetes engine operator. So hope you like the video with the small analogy with the Taliver's stuff. So uh, do let me know your comments and uh, feedback in the uh, comment section. Thank you for watching.